Hey guys, it's Brett, and welcome back to my channel. So, it is homecoming season in high schools, at least in my area. My favorite teacher suggested I make a video about all the awkward proposals. Her idea was more for like prom, but I decided that it would also work for homecoming. So why not just, why not have both? All right, number one, we have the awkward, cheesy rhyme that everybody sells for, you know, that you can just find on like the first image on Google Images for homecoming. Coming. I may not be great, but will you be my date? Hoko. That's another thing. Lots of people just say Hoko. Number two, we have the volleyball players, either a volleyball player asking someone else or someone asking a volleyball player. Either way, this works. We both know our friends set this up, but I'd love to bump at homecoming with you as my match. <laughs> Number three, we have the candy sign. Now, you might be a little confused, but you know what I'm talking about if you really think about it. I make it look like they did a lot of effort so that you feel like you have to say us, yes, even though um, these are also all over Google Images. Blah, 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 Snickers, blah, 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 to some M&Ms, blah, blah, blah. The whole Milky Way, blah, 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 at Hoko. Number four, we have the Desperates. We're both single. So how about we mingle together at homecoming? Yes or yes. Number five. So now we have the, I want to say almost like cocky football players because the common trend that I've seen is that people who are in football, when they tend to ask their dates, they tend to talk about themselves and their own sport rather than the other person or their sports or anything. Um, not quite sure where that is, but will you tackle homecoming with me? All right, next we have the runners. Um, for this one, I just focus mainly on the cross country runners since that's a sport in fall. I'd be so excited if you go to homecoming with me. And then lastly, we get to the lazy people who are already in a relationship and don't really, they don't necessarily even need to ask, but at the same time, they kind of have to because it's like a cute thing that people do. So they just get lazy with it and they just go, Hoko, yes or no, even though there's, there's no option, but you know, gotta leave out on the table that you could technically say no to their lazy response, and you should. These weren't the greatest, but neither is homecoming proposals. So I'm definitely going to be remaking this during prom season because I think it's a perfect idea. And prom tends to get more cheesy, more funny, and like more fancy all at the same time. My social medias are down in the description if you want to check me out anywhere else and you could subscribe if you want because I post videos every Thursday. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Because, uh, hi Dash, I am the quarterback. Will you be my receiver? <laughs> oh, that one sounds too dirty. I can't include that. Did I spell tackle right? Tackle. T-A. Mm. I might have spelled that wrong. So cute. Who got the power?